much, Kafayat, for that very informative presentation. Um, so it's really neat to see, um, you know, how you guys have struggled with the depth and the breadth um, for your scoping review. So this is fantastic. And um, it really helps us also realize, you know, the difference between a scoping review and a systematic review, right? So the purpose is actually different. When we're, we're thinking about a systematic review, the purpose is really to identify, you know, what is the effectiveness of an intervention, for example. It's a very specific question. Whereas when we're thinking about a scoping review, the question is more is what has been done in the literature? What does the literature, how can we chart the literature? Um, you know, what outcomes have been exam examined? Which patient populations does the literature focus on? So we see here that the difference is actually in the research question that we're posing. So with a scoping review, we really want to know, you know, what has done, been done before. And just to kind of uh, nail this concept home, I wanted to give a couple more examples of scoping reviews uh, with a flavor of non-health um, because we are here with Gessie today. So an example in education is looking at the use of flipped classrooms in higher education. So again, we're coming up to see, you know, uh, what kind of, trying to chart the literature and see what's been done before. In computer science, we're looking at um, this KMS um, through cloud computing. So this is a scoping review, again, looking at, you know, what has ever been done in this area? And here's another scoping review on housing policy. So looking at uh, prevalence and causes of, of uh, urban homelessness among Indigenous people. So we see here that, that um, and even with Kafayat's example, sometimes we start off with this broad research question, which would be the scoping review, and then we realize, well, actually, now that we know what's been done in the field, we can do a more targeted um, question and, and do a systematic review on that. So sometimes it can be a two-stage process where you start off with a large, broad scoping review, and then you end up with a systematic review, which it sounds like uh, Kafayat and her team are currently working through. 